I started cutting off with my brothers here at home. Well, my mum well, big scissors and a big razor. And um, I graduated into um, hairdressing. I went to college for hairdressing. Only guy in my class, only guy that passed. And then um, I started doing hairdressing for about six years. Moved on to barbering full time. And I did shop here. Now for about 22 years I've been here. I've cut the, the father, the son, the son, the son. So I'm 20 to cut the fourth generation now. Actually, I'm the oldest barber that's here now, but I'm, um, yes. I'm Leon from Birmingham, aka Gemini Dan. <laughs> Established 21 years in the game. And God has landed me here with a fine gentleman called P. Respect to P. And I'm just, I'm just coming to take over London, really. Uh, next stop, West. Um, then America. Yeah. yeah, Terry, Terry Barber, you know, been in the game for about 10, 10, 11 years, cutting hair, Barber, Barber, see the skills, about to bust Mohican right now, yeah, see the levels, skin fit Mohican, that's what I do, man. This is sunny. <laughs> oh, yeah. My name is Sonny. I want to start with the work. I consider myself as an artist because I have to do a lot of um, designs and stuff. A lot of designs come from my head. <clears throat> and people come in with requests, requests like um, LV, maybe they want their old head, head covered in LV and stuff like that, Louis Vuitton and stuff, and I do it. It's hard work being a boss, you know? When you, can come, when you come to work <clears throat> and you pay rent for your chair, you don't have to, you, when you leave, you leave. You don't have to worry about the bills and all the rest of it, yeah? Um, you know, with me now, I have to worry about the bills, the overheads and stuff. Also, like, staff sometimes, they're hard to deal with, but that's different business, isn't it? But a normal day in Cut the Rest is um, just a normal day at the moment, do you know what I mean? Always something like, new happening. But basically, you rent the chair. Rent is just like a rent in your house. You pay your rent, and then it will be good. If you don't pay your rent, then, you know, missing. the boss come down on you, man. You know, you know how hench it is. So that's it. You pay your rent and every week. You pay your rent, and then you make your money. That's what the rich is. Sometimes you see like a mum will bring her child, a son in for a haircut, and he's down here. Yeah. You know, it's like four years old. <clears throat> and um, next thing you know, he's this same boy is bringing his son in for a haircut. <laughs> Do you mean? So yeah, you know, you get a lot of mothers bringing their sons in, breaking them into how to get their hair cut and stuff like that, teaching them the ropes, how to get come to the barber shop, and what to ask for and stuff like that. You know, um, yeah, it's very family oriented, and that's a good thing about it. That's why we try to keep our music clean. Yeah, we try to not swear, no swearing in the shop. You know, sometimes we might slip up with the music a little bit, but we turn it off straight away. And we we apologise to make people know that that's not what we're about. Don't have drink or drugs in the shop. You know, it's just you know, it's for family. You know, so mum can come here leave her son and go shopping and come back. Do you know what I mean? And know that her son's in good hands. You know? We look out for, we make the community look good. You know, and we look out for the community. Um, I've been coming here for the past two years. I, I would say absolutely perfect. That's why I keep coming back here. Because I've got my special barber here. Which I believe is the best in the UK. Yeah, my first time. I uh, just wanted to change. And I've been to a few other barbers and I don't really, uh, I don't know. I think I could go to somewhere better, so I thought this place might be good. Uh, some of my friends have mentioned it, and yeah, so I've heard stuff about it. And my mum said that she read something about this place as well, so I thought, yeah, I might as well just stop by. Um, I was, was going to go to my other barbers today, but I thought, you know, whilst I'm in the area, uh, I'll just come here. Uh, good things. I don't rem remember what I've heard, but uh, I've heard the name, so it must be good. Exactly that. Cut by the rest. It's a cut by the rest, you know, we're here first. Um, every other barber shop branched them from this shop, you know, so we are the godfather, the cornerstone of the community as well as the cornerstone of, of, of every barbershop. Um, you know, a lot of the barbershops around here, I've, I've trained them myself. The owners, I've trained them myself. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot different, you know. It might not be the poshest barbershop in, in East London, but we are the cornerstone, we are the foundation, we are the roots. I put my team, Sonny, Terry and Leon, who's a new barber on the block. Not from London, but 
I ain't gonna beat him up for that. I, I thought about beating him up for one time. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, my clientele, I wanna say thank you to my clientele. It's really um, the name that I'm, I'm launching, because I put in a name cut above in everything I do, you know? Um, basically, that's it, the name. The name is a brand, it's an household name now, you know? Everybody knows about it, North, South, East and West. So yeah, it's big things, you know, and I can't tell you everything on the camera, because otherwise I'll be letting the cat out of the bag, will I?